for me to be able to say, hey, what I do saves lives, makes me feel like I'm doing something really important and valuable. Myself having a uh, disability, I wanted to be a part of an organization that was, you know, working to improve the lives of children on a daily basis. A lot of our families feel very homebound and they feel very disconnected from, you know, the, the, the world. And so when they finally have this freedom and this security, then they feel like, hey, wow, we can experience some of the same things um, that other people just simply take for granted. Four Paws provides service dogs to children with disabilities and veterans from recent combat. The biggest request that we get is for autism assistance dogs, followed by seizure, alert and response dogs, really anything defined by the ADA. We fashioned our fundraising model after Habitat for Humanity. And what Habitat does is if you apply for a house, you qualify for a free house after you volunteer to work on somebody else's house for so many hours. And so that's what we do at Four Paws to allow many more people to receive their dogs. They fundraise on behalf of our mission to qualify for a free service dog. Imagine if a child um, has autism seizures and a peanut allergy. Well, that dog is gonna take a lot more training than if the dog maybe just needed to be a hearing ear dog. But we don't, um, you know, ding this family and say, you have to raise more than this family. We put everybody on an even playing field. And that's where I come in. I can help the families along their fundraising journey. I think the key difference between Four Paws and other service dog agencies are three different things. Uh, one is we have no minimum age requirement. Two, we serve children around the globe. You can live anywhere. As long as people are willing to come to Xenia, Ohio, we are open to any kind of geographic location. And three, we cover any type of disability defined by the ADA. This is a very exciting time for Four Pauls. We are undergoing a $2.9 million expansion project. Um, we're not 100% funded yet. Um, we haven't paid off all the bills, but we felt like that it was really necessary to do it at this time. We're wanting to uh, improve the quality of care that we give our dog um, and give our staff the best possible space that they can work with. So far with the construction has been a tremendous change. We're seeing a tremendous improvement with the uh, new addition. We are right now sitting in our addition of 14,000 square feet, which encompasses our kennel space, which is a lot better and bigger. Uh, we used to have the old plastic crates that our dog care staff had to get in and dive into every day and disinfect. Um, now we have state-of-the-art kennels um, where the food can be placed right there when the dogs are out exercising or socializing or going potty. The dog care staff can hose that down. So it's a lot more comfortable for the dogs. They have more space. It's, it's better for our dog care staff, not as much work. They don't have to cram in and, and dive into those crates every day. I uh, basically, you know, just really enjoy seeing the difference that we make here as an organization. I love it when the children and the veterans that we work with come in here you know, on a monthly basis and receive their service dog. And I realize the impact that I am, you know, uh, making by being here. And that just really just wants to keep me around because I really enjoy seeing that positive change that the children and the veterans are getting in their lives. So Four Paws, we're growing like crazy. And next year we'll have our thousandth placement, which we're really excited about. Um, but we can always use the public's help if anyone would like to donate to help a child or a veteran or to help us uh, with our building project. You can certainly visit our website, which is fourpawsforability.org um, and make a donation there or give us a call at 937-374-0385 and find out ways that you can help or volunteer.